Okay, let's go ahead and download Logic Pro in the App Store. The usual asking price for this program is $1.99. I've bought this in the past, so I'm gonna download this now. This may take a little bit of time depending on your internet speed. I'll tell you what though, let's go to the very top here. We're gonna go into the Finder menu, go into Preferences, and I want you to enable your hard disk. I have two on my screen, as you can see. Go pay attention to that. Yours is gonna have just one. Now this is important because this is gonna help you find your files in a much more efficient way. The second thing I want you to do is hover over the dock here at the bottom. And I want you to control click. When you do that, you'll see a small menu that will allow you to hide this when you hover over it. For those of you that have a smaller laptop, this is gonna provide more screen real estate. Let's go ahead and open the program. You will then be met with this message, simplified mode or complete mode. I want you to select complete mode, otherwise you're essentially just using a version of GarageBand. You will then be prompted to download your essential sounds. Well, this depends on you. If you have the time to do it, go ahead and download it now. If you just want to download it later because you're in a rush to just get it over with, then let's just keep moving on. Give Logic Pro access to your microphone. Hear all the new features within 10.7 for Logic Pro. You can see that the essential sounds are being downloaded in the background. This is the project dialog window. Here's another pro tip. Open up the details tab just to make sure you can see everything in front of you and control click Logic Pro icon in the dock and keep it in the dock so that when you want to access it, all you have to do is hover your mouse over the dock. All right, so these are all of the preferences within the session. We're gonna check that out a little bit later. Every time you open up Logic Pro, you will be met with the new tracks dialog window. Just to start things off, let's select an audio track. You may see this window if you're a first time downloader, just put your password, open up the details tab just to make sure that you can see everything. And here we go. Logic Pro, you see a blue bar at the very top indicating that we're still downloading the essential sound library. Now, I'm not downloading everything, bear in mind. How much space do I need to actually download Logic Pro? Believe it or not, you need over 70 gigabytes. If we go into storage, manage within the Mac, you will see that on the surface, it looks like I really haven't downloaded much. There's almost two gigs there, another two gigs there. So where is all the information found? Like where is the rest of it? Well, I'm gonna tell you in a second, but let me explain something first. When you first open up Logic Pro and you open up the Apple Loops browser, key command O, and also hit the icon at the top right, everything will be indexed depending on if you downloaded the available sounds or not. Now, if you have titles that are a bit dimmed like this, it just means that you haven't downloaded everything yet. If you have a shortage of space, you can download individual loops if you want to, but Again, it's probably a best practice to go into the sound library manager here and just to download all the available sounds all at once. You can also download per pack if you would like or per library. So this is a very personal choice based on space. So this is up to you, but I do highly recommend you download everything if possible. Now for most people, that's where we're gonna stop, but if you're a little bit more advanced, you have an external hard drive, you may want to relocate your sound library manager so you can move all of the 70 gigabytes necessary to fully function Logic Pro into an external hard drive. And you would do that just like this. Okay, so regardless whether you have downloaded all those sounds or not, you are ready to go. I'm going to see you in the next video. We're going to talk about the five tenets in Logic Pro.